you make it look easy Switch it up and stay in your lane Girl, you got it And they can't tell you nothing Cause you're gonna do your thing Girl, you got it Hi, welcome back to CC Inspires Podcast. My name is CC, and I'm so excited to be coming back for the season six premiere of all four episodes. I know it's been a while, but if you've been keeping up and following and subscribing, um, I just released a live podcast on my YouTube channel. Details in the description, CC Inspires 22. And I wanted to take the necessary time to regroup, rejuvenate, be one with myself, be at peace, and find balance and harmony in my life where situations and just overall energies that wasn't mine, that I didn't welcome, that was attached, I just needed to break the necessary links, tides, and everything to focus collectively on myself. So also finding your power and standing on it, standing on business and creating those boundaries, even if it makes other people nervous or uh, upset or mad uh, because they're not used to you standing firm on your boundaries and drawing the line and saying enough is enough still stand on business because you only pleasing yourself you're not here to accommodate others and they bullshit accommodate others and they lack in whatever areas that they need to mature and grow from you're not responsible for other people's growth or other people you know, mind frame, that's something they have to go within and heal, um, for us to end the healing, the self love, the self journey and loving self keyword is self do it your damn self. So what I've been doing is basically on my enlightenment, um, mode. And I'm so grateful that I'm in a different version of myself. And I'm really proud of myself of over the years. And when I started my podcast four years ago that I been showing up as myself always, my my authentic self, but also shedding old skin and old versions of myself and welcoming the changes in my life, positive or not. But it all helped uh, to mold me. And so that I can grow into the woman that I always inspire to be um, later on in my life. And I'm just so grateful that throughout this journey, you guys have been with me every step of the way, been supportive in everything I do. And I'm so grateful that you guys tune in to whenever I drop hot shit (laughs) and new episodes and new seasons that I share with you guys along my journey. And we've been in the season six, six as well as being in harmony, balance, Um, balancing things out, creating a strong foundation in whatever areas in your life that you needed to make sure is concrete, is stable, and not allowing anyone to come in to jeopardize or even rule rule over anything that is in your hands that's in your life that you created for yourself it's very important to also cut unnecessary drama and tides from familiar people in your past it may be hurtful to do, but it's also and always beneficial for you in the long run. Because when you start seeing repeated, start seeing repeated patterns, and you start seeing that, okay, it's the lessons that I haven't learned in the past that it keep reoccurring in my life and through other people and other um, versions of yourself. Then that tells you something right there that. You haven't learned the lesson and you need more healing to do and you need to seclude yourself when necessary 
to ask for enlightenment and from a higher source, whoever you believe in, to get clarity on a lot of things that was um, blind to you that you was in the dark about. So what I started doing for myself, I could share a couple of key points. I started to write down everything that I want to do positively and then also on another piece of paper, write down everything that I may lack in in the areas that I need to improve and make sure that, um, you know, they align the way they need to. But then also it's not going to always be perfectly matched because if you're doing more or so uh, than the other column, then you need to improve in those areas. But then also I've been spending a lot of a lot of time in nature you know, just getting fresh air, going on my walks, whether with um, people or with my my pets and just embracing nature and getting some fresh air and then really just being one with myself and just going within. And that's when I find when I'm by myself and I'm alone or even if I'm with company, you know, on those nature walks, I, I still have a, a a place that I can go to inside that I quiet out everything and listen to my own voice, my own inner voice and my thoughts. And that's when I become one with myself and have those conversations that, you know, I like to keep to myself because everybody should know everything, your next move or what you're going to do, how you're going to do it. You keep them guessing and you still keep them on their toes for all of those maybe watching and keeping a close eye or trying to figure out your next move. I always throw people a curveball, but also just maintaining your upkeep, your maintenance on you, you know, every sense and every mind, body, and soul and being one with the spirit of yourself, you know, so you can receive those messages so you can concentrate on the areas that you want to work on you know that's mandatory for you and then also just planting myself in in you know just in the ground just planting my feet you know with earth and nature and it's really 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 soothing and calm and peaceful I mean to each his own. Everybody do things different and have their own way of doing it to connect. But I been noticing that I'm at peace when I can feel the wind blowing in my face and my hair and hugging trees. Yes, I did say hug trees. Go hug a motherfucking tree. Because <laughs> it's energy. It's positive energy that you transform And it's coming to you and, you know, the nature, the world is just outside of everything that's going on in your world, in the world around you, you know, chaos and uproar and different changes and all that. But when you create your own world and your your piece of heaven that you create. None of that matters. None of that. None of that interrupts with what you have provided for yourself. Where you at a point in your in your life that you know, okay, this is where I was trying to strive for. This was what I wanted to always be at. Because you're doing the necessary work. You're eliminating. And cutting out things that's no longer in alignment with your path. Everybody have a path. When you find out which path is yours, then you see everything be much clearer. You know, you focus. It makes sense. You get the clarity and the truth. Because you're focused on yourself. And I always say this. It's always good to remember to pay attention to your star player. Don't think of yourself being selfish if you've always been selfless throughout your life towards other people. It's okay to be selfish towards you. Don't worry about who's not understanding, who don't get it. It's not for them to understand because you receive your messages 
and you receive your clarity. And it was never a conference call. I'm going to say that again. It, ne it never was a conference call. It wasn't, oh, come hear this out. I need you to hear this. It was for you and you only. So never make someone manipulate you to feel guilty about tuning into your star player and focusing on the things that you need to focus on, which is yourself. So throughout my enlightenment that I had, and that's why I had ended out last year with season five of CC Inspires, and then focusing on myself, and I just, um, the rewards and just the everything that was illuminated just been so great. And even, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, and say that everything been all good and peaches and roses and, and, and you know, running through the, the field of flowers, skipping and all of that. I have not. But I tell you one thing. I am better off than where I was four years ago, five years ago, even 10 years ago. Everything that I Zoom appears on me, the glow, the radiance, the, the way I move, you know, moving in silence as well. But then the way I move, not just physically, but just also spiritually and energetically, you know, I carry myself in the light that. Uh, I always knew I was shining in. And of course, you know, the greatest compliment you can receive from someone is that you are glowing. I see the light that's around you. When you smile, you know, I see that from within. Now, the outer appearance, as you get older and then when you mature, you know, in your level of life, you'll start to realize that the physical the physical appearance and the looks and all of that that's just for pleasing of the eye you know when you really connect with someone on the intellectual level and when you connect spiritually and and everything that's not a physical you'll start to see the meaning of everything that you have to really reprogram your mind um to, be, to see because we you know growing up in the different levels of experiences childhood trauma and all of that is a lot that men and women really don't heal and we need to focus on healing past trauma childhood experiences and things that trigger us throughout our adulthood because you wonder why what would somebody say unbeknownst to them what they saying or make a remark or a statement that that triggers you that triggers you to like oh I remember when a parent or when a family member say this to me and ever since I never liked the way that somebody talked to me aggressively like that or just I feel like you belittling me or you berating me or you putting me down because that's all I heard throughout you know my childhood you're not this you're not going to be that um, you know, who would, uh, believe you or who would just be there for you. Nobody's going to be there for you. The world going to eat you up and spit you out. You know, you'll be coming back. You hear things like that. Those are key words that's triggering to anybody that ever experienced anything like that. And then as we go on through the different stages of our life from childhood, you know, teenagers, high school, that's a whole nother hell right there. But you make it out into your, you know, young adulthood and in adult years that you're not even realizing that you're taking on the projected energy and words that was spoken to you throughout your life into your adulthood. And then you're reacting to situations that, you know, may seem small to someone but to you is a very a very big deal because you haven't healed yourself and you just you know if you're like me for example you go through the shit um you suppress it you know your, your emotions take over you go through an emotional roller, co roller coaster and then you move on from it 
like you move forward, but it's not really addressing what you experience. It's, you know, you just soaking it all up and you're not really paying attention to your emotions, how you're acting out and how certain relationships in your life that's affected. And then also you not even knowing that you're attracting people that need to be fixed or people that need your help because you're a helper or you're you're a healer. You naturally, you know, those characteristics because that's who you are and not even knowing that you're attracting that. So when you set your attentions high and then you start thinking positively and speaking positive, you're able to attract just what you need in your life for those changes to happen for you and erasing not the experience because it also helped you to grow it also helped you to be strong and know that you can overcome any obstacles and come through every storm out of a, a victor striving for victorious situations I had a um a memory when I was saying it so you heard a pause but knowing that it's not your fault knowing that you didn't do anything wrong we all learning and we still growing no matter what age you are you, we are still learning we're still growing and there's more life to live and I want to experience every joyous, positive, exciting venture in my life. And of course, reap the rewards that I planted and that I put out into the universe and instilled in people, whether, you know, you get your props or not. You're not doing it for someone to say, you know and amen or thank you this now you're doing it genuinely from your heart and don't ever no matter what situations that appeared in your life or you went through don't ever change who you are or turn your heart cold because of situations that happened and situations that happened that you wish that you wasn't who you are because you're wondering why you keep attracting this type of trauma or attracting this type of experience. When you are a healer, a person that wants to help, naturally wants to help and be there for people, unfortunately, you come across people that take advantage and abuse their power and abuse the situation and try to manipulate the person that actually you never know who is sent in your life to help you. You never know the reason why this person is placed in your life. But of course, everyone always experienced that and in, in, in see after you decide that you wasn't going to put up with nobody's shit after you um, walked away and then also established boundaries. Because you realize that in this, no matter what age you are, grown ass people really turn into immature, childish people when you set those about to set those boundaries, and they don't have shit to do with you. Keep on setting those attentions, intentions as well, and keep on setting those boundaries. You're not doing it for other people; you're doing it for yourself. You, you making yourself whole. So continue to soul find self-growth. Always, always self-love. Love yourself first. Because no, no matter what relationship you get in, you don't want to get validations from someone just because they love bombing you or say they love you. When you love yourself first, you attract all in who needs to be an alignment in your life on the path and journey you're going, you're going through and that the, the journey that, that you're on. So I want to leave that right there. 
as always, thank you so much for tuning in to CC Inspires Podcasting. Stay tuned for many, many more great surprises in store and special guests coming on. Um, Follow me on my social media platforms. Descriptions always in the cliff notes. And this have been Standing in My Power, Episode 2, Season 6. Damn, Seiko, this shit crazy. Yay, bitch, I'm a toe, my toe. Bitch, I'm a wall, my wall. Yeah, you know what it is then. Yeah, bitch, you know what it is then. Just cause I don't wanna throw your dish check. I might be a chick, but ain't no bitch better believe that. Too busy making business moves to bring big cheese in. Who's on your leg really about that life? Don't be misleading. After a few songs, y'all gon' be begging me to stop. Man, it's F rap and shit ain't really putting me on top. Yeah, I'm bigger than this F that girl singing my song. It's been fun, time to run, touch down in my zone. I swear I'm about to do this. Can you really tell? Talking to my boy Vic, sitting up in jail. By the time he make it out, I'm gon' be Billboard bound 2024. Rock a line, got no time to fail. Yeah, you best believe I'm gon' always talk my talk. And I'm true to myself, so I'm gon' walk my walk. Approach me slowly if you know me, yeah. You know what it is, then can't nobody say nothing different. Yeah, you best believe I'm gon' always talk my talk. And I'm true to myself, so I'm gon' walk my walk. Approach me slowly if you know me, yeah. You know what it is. Say nothing different Ain't make it out the hood Yeah, your girl be on her grind Tryna fuck the industry Yeah, make that trick mine Gotta pay the game right So I be up all night Yeah, I'm always ready Yeah, bitch, it's time to take flight I walk up in the studio They looking at me crazy Don't let the pretty face fool you Yeah, I'm that crazy lady Go from zero to a hundred If you looking at me wrong Don't be intimidated I'm just here to lay down my song I walk with God, homie Always be down for me Why can't be Let me see you Self-work, keep me in check I think about this so all I'm be coming at your neck I swear I'm born to do this, I know you can see This rap shit, the only thing that kill my misery So obsessed, but I can't do this if I'm free Not no more, I'm trying to put my name down in history Yeah, you best believe I'm gon' always talk my talk And I'm true to myself, so I'm gon' walk my walk Approach me slowly if you know me, yeah You know what it is, then can't nobody say nothing different Yeah, you best believe Bitch, I'm a woe, my woe